I know a thing or two about this game. We had quite a tight set. Now it's on. <laughs> we had a quite a tight set. I'm kind of sad we lost, but hey, they just outplayed us game three. Well, what I told the stream was that you and Tiny have very good synergy, considering that you guys were really good friends. This is true, and that kid has not played this game in two years. Yeah, and that's really good, considering they all, you guys almost beat Chibo and Joe, who've been playing this game constantly, so... I wouldn't take it as a bad loss. <laughs> it was a fun match. I'm glad we actually got to play interesting people as opposed to <laughs> game one against Dubbos and oh God. Anti, which <laughs> wasn't as climatic. <laughs> Oof. I'm just so stroked that we, me and Minty just beat Will and Doom. That game was so clutch. I wouldn't put it past you guys. You guys have good synergy together. Well, we didn't play, like, the thing was, we didn't play since, Vin John hasn't played since, like, before three months Apex, before yeah. Apex. Yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> He's been playing StarCraft 2, and shout outs to my man Allied for training my man up. But, um, yeah, he's been playing StarCraft, so he has no knowledge of the yeah, game. What's the deal with StarCraft and League of Legends? I feel like it's kind of yeah. scary how much they make in that, in those games. 50 grand prize winnings. Well, the thing is that they're, they're uh, the game designers, I believe, actually care about the community, and they listen to the output instead of, like, Nintendo. But you can't really put it on Nintendo because... They like, wanted this to be a party game, not a competitive, so they don't really support yeah. our scene. And the thing was that, I mean, I guess you can count StarCraft 1 as Melee, and they made StarCraft 2, I guess, updated, and so it was Brawl, but like, with StarCraft 2, they listened to the people, and they changed accordingly. Brawl, they didn't really do that. Yeah. <laughs> and they make patches and stuff, so. But don't quote me on this, I don't play StarCraft, so. <laughs> I just follow Minty. So... We have Joe ST with Meta Knight and Chibo Rob. And we have Bloodcross Meta Knight, I believe Meta Knight, and Helka. Helka Fun. So this should be an interesting game. Game. Oh. Three, two, one. Yeah, Helka is fast though. Sorry. Helka and Bloodcross consistently team, so right now you would suspect them to have a competitive edge, but Chibo is very consistent in teams, so it could go either way. He's not that consistent. Me and Vinny almost beat him in Mewtwo King at King of the Couch. Shout out to my man Chiba. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's, he's pretty consistent. He's got some placings in some big events. Yeah. But I'm then... not gonna lie. Oof. So far, it looks somewhat even. It looks like Blue Team really has the field control at the moment. Joe ST. I don't know. He's putting it worse. Oh, Shibo with that nice kill. So currently the blue team is up a stock. Pelka dropped the first stock, I believe. Joe SC just putting it to work. Well, now Chibo is. Chibo is just a little far away. Right. Okay, it's, it's about even now. Oof. I really think the Japanese didn't inspire all, if not, you know, all American players. I feel like the American players felt like they see too much consistency and not enough innovation. So when they see new styles coming yeah. in and being so heavily effective on our community, that they were more curious of expanding outside the box their moveset. Yeah, I was re-rocking Atori and Kakara, and the shit they do is just incredible. Well, they it also helps that they're brothers and they play this game. So they're twin really brothers, in fact. Yeah. But I think it was interesting how they go underneath the stage when they feel they're getting cornered, just to reverse the cornering situation so that you are stuck between the two of them. So right now it looks about even when we just left off. Rob is putting in work. He's just camping away. I know that was that was what was the downfall of our team. We we could, we, we could kill the Joe's same, but we could not keep keeping track of Chibo, which was a problem. Doctor just game raping. Oh, uh, sorry for the use of rape. Um, was beating that night. Um, ooh, nice zombie. Chibo is 
doing what I said, being very consistent. Covering his teammate, holding stock for the team. He's not going for anything dangerous. He's just playing very smart. Meta Knight died. Obviously. <laughs> Meta Knight trading heads. Ooh, nice read. I believe. It's... It's about an even game now. Whoever drops last... I mean, next stock could probably be potentially the game changer. Yeah. She was doing what he's, he does, does best. Just... Oh! So All now right. it's Chibo versus Blood Cross and Pelka. Can he clutch it up and take the win? I believe he can. It's possible, but... I don't know. If he were to do it, he'd have to take advantage of the Falco and have to deal with Blood Cross's Meta Knight one-on-one. -on -one. That's a very hefty task. Well, Chibo and Leon versus MVD and Isab, you know. Pretty sure we can replicate this. So who knows? Maybe he'll bring it back. Oh, that was a smart reflect. Should Shibo get rid of Falco, he might have an easier time on Meta Knight because I believe it's one of. I feel like he's well holding known. back yeah. because he's afraid of being double teamed. Well, I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> a lot's on the line. Trip. So right now, our red team's controlling the stage. I don't know why Falco did that, but, you know... Odd tech choices. Chibo and Pelka are both one hit from dying. Bloodcross is just trying to keep a safe distance for his teammate, trying to hold it down. What's the ledge grab limit? 50? I believe so. Alright, so let's see how many ledge traps Chibo gets. Let's see if it even goes to time. I doubt that. Oof. Ooh, good DI by Chibo. And everyone chanting Chibo. Chibo. <laughs> and there's Cheese trying to be funny. And keyword trying. New England takes it. Hey, okay, what the? F So now red team goes Meta Knight, double Meta Knight. Um, is double Meta Knight legal in Japanese rule? I don't remember. It is. is. It? Yeah, they don't they don't believe in prohibition. Quote unquote prohibition. On characters. <sighs> I mean you can't really say you can you can ban a character. Like, I don't believe that. Yeah, Meta Knight's broken, but like, I don't know. I, I wouldn't even say so much that he's broken. If you notice like during our match the thing that we actually kept like solidly keeping in check was the Meta Knights. <laughs> we really struggled actually against the Rob because his offstage presence, he could just keep on going and going and going. Chibo, what you ban? What would they ban? Uh, they ban Lilat, so Chibo is rerunning that back on FD. Joe ST went snake, which is really good on FD. But against Silver Meta Knight, anything goes. I got to play him a little bit earlier in friendlies. His snake has a lot of stylish moves. Um, I think he does better with a platform, personally. Yeah, he, he said that he's really good with the Super Ramin cancel. Which, shout outs to Ramin. I love you, Ramin. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I like how he mixes things up and he doesn't like follow this their typical snake yeah. style. We don't really see that a lot in snakes except for Mr. R or MVD. Ally. Yeah, MVD. Nice. This might be a good tight game. Chibo would so far it's even. Yeah. Snake just doesn't need to get off the stage because Snake that means needs to attack. give support to Chibo. Chibo nearly ran out of gas on that, and that would have. Yeah, gas prices are too high right now. What the? I guess it was a miss. Oh, the double NATO. And that was a nice combo by Chibo.
Right now it's more of a 1v1. Uh, not anymore. Rob just died. Nice. There by Shiva. Will they capitalize is the question. I believe Indeed they, they did. Ooh, that's so, really nice. Laser grenade. Laser grenade. Now it's just down to that is who dies first, Josaint or Bloodcross. They're both in position of dying, and it could be a big stock difference in the matchup. Ooh, Bloodcross drops first. If they keep doing the laser grenade wall, yeah. If they keep doing the laser grenade setup, I think they're pretty solid because Men and I can't really afford that without. Power shielding up the ass. Well, if Meta Knights are on the other side of the stage, that oh, is. Oh, clutch move. He grabs him when he has a grenade, got him in the sky zone, and kills him at zero. That might be why they might lose now. I still believe they can bring it back. I don't know. It's a very difficult setup currently. They would have to kill off Pelka's stock and still maintain good position. What is with that landmine? Input error is probably the but... There you go. Oh! That was gonna come out as an air. I'm pretty sure Nair was slow, so... <laughs> uh, oh, this yeah. is gonna be a very uphill battle. I'm not sure what Bleach uh, Bloodcross tried to do there, but... That hit just up. Trying to grab that gyro. Spelka attempted to gimp the rob. Oh my god. Blood Cross still holding uh. the stew stock, and now it's once again Chibo versus. New England. Mennonite kind of is so good at covering everything. It's insane. Like, there was really no way Rob could have done anything. A good effort by Chibo, but New good England takes it. To no avail. Good game by both teams. So now me and Minty have to play Pelkan Blood Cross. Rematch. Yeah. Match. Rematch. 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 R -r 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 Remix. I was debating on entering singles or not. I don't know if I want to enter singles or do Mario Party. Mario Party? I brought my N64. Your Mario Party is now an event, guys. Come on down. All right.